Back to the economy and what's happening here in the U.S. The economy is, is clearly slowing down, but markets have been revving up over the past week, despite today's reversal. President Trump tweeting out that the Fed interest rate is, quote, way too high. That, of course, boosted markets. Market watcher David Banson says markets will get a rate cut and investors may like it now, but they won't later. Why not, David? Well, because eventually the monetary policy has to be normalized. At some point, we have to get to a place where they have room to maneuver when there actually is a recession. And so I definitely understand the idea that they went too far late last year and that credit markets have said you need to give a little relief here. But we can't forget, David, that the reason for that is because the Fed accommodated for so long, credit did what they asked it to do. It let up, the whole economy has now gotten so dependent on this additional borrowing that they're really in a no-win position. But you know, David, I'm thinking of what's happening in Europe where they have, what, like $10 trillion, well, Europe and Asia have $10 trillion worth of bonds with negative interest rates. I mean, talk about nowhere to go. They're in a much worse shape than we are, right? Oh, they, they sure are. And a lot of where we are is because of where they are. They've anchored our rates yeah. lower when you have Germany trading at a negative sovereign yield. But I don't think we want to aspire to be where Japan has been for 25 years. There's no precedent of a society getting addicted to low interest rates and ever getting off of it. And I think that what we're dealing with now is the, is the kind of hangover effect of what Chairman Bernanke and Chairwoman Yellen sort of left for the current Fed regime. And so all I'm saying is I believe markets will respond favorably. And in fact, they already have. They've re-rated up a full turn in the last week in the S&P valuation on the idea of the Fed continuing to be accommodative. However, at some point we know, we see how this ends. The market will not respond well when the inevitable happens. And we have to be prepared for both sides of that. David Bonson, thank you very much, David. Appreciate you being here.